Another feature of Craft 3 is the inclusion of the Yi Debug Toolbar. If you remember from reading the Craft documentation or watching one of my courses, is that Yi is the PHP framework on top of which Craft is built. And as part of that, there is an extension called the Debug Toolbar, which gives us a nice little toolbar at the bottom of our browser window in order to see some vital statistics about the page that we're viewing. The nice thing about this is that in Craft 3, we now get access to that toolbar both on the control panel and on the front end. So if we're building a plugin, we can see how it is performing when we're looking at it from the control panel. But as we're implementing our templates, we can see how they're performing when we're looking at our front end code. So let's look at how we can enable that and a little bit of how it works. So we're on our dashboard here for the control panel. And this is a site that we've already upgraded to Craft 3 to the latest beta as I record this video. And the way that you enable the toolbar is by going to Users. It is enabled by User, and it is only available for admin users. So if I go to an admin user, I have these two checkboxes here, one for Show the Debug Toolbar on the front end and Show the Debug Toolbar on the control panel. Let's go ahead and check both and save. Now this is the user uh, into which I'm currently logged in. So down here at the bottom, you can see we have this little toolbar. It has the craft C and a little arrow. If I click that, my toolbar is now present as an overlay here at the bottom. You can see it gives me some vital statistics about the current state of things for this page load. There's one user there is the, the status that was returned was 200, which is what we want. The route, templates render, and some log, a number of log messages, if there's any deprecation warnings here. The time it took to load it, the memory used, database queries in blue and time in gray, and then any asset bundles that were loaded. All right, so that's what it looks like on the front end. If I click on this toolbar, it pops up and I get even more information. I can now drill down. Let's say I'm debugging user issues with sessions or what they're seeing when they're logged in. Then I can look at it here. I can also look at the route table here to see all of the rules that were checked before Craft did what it was supposed to do to route to the right template. Uh, the requests that were made, including headers information, session information, the server global variable information, all sorts of stuff here that help us understand what is going on. Now, this is great for just keeping an eye on things, but it's, it's really good for when things go wrong so you can start to piece the information together to figure out what is causing the problem, hence the name Debug Toolbar. We have logs. We can see if there's any deprecation errors. We'll actually see one when we go to the front end. Uh, profiling for performance. Here's our database queries. We can monitor those. Asset bundles that are being used. And if we're using the uh, mail uh, tool in Yi or in Craft, it'll keep a log here of the messages. So if we're debugging sending emails. Lots of really helpful stuff. On the left here gives us a, a more detailed view of the highlights along the top. So I can go ahead and Collapse that and collapse it again. If I wanted to open this up as its own page, I can click on it here, maybe with Command to open it up in a new tab. And I can get the debugger full on here with all of the debug uh, data here. And you can see I can get a history of the debug data and then drill into those as well to get some details about all the different requests. That's pretty cool. I can get a history of requests here. So I can go back and see when something broke here on this local copy of my site. So that's how we use it here in the control panel. Now on the front end of the site, let me reload this and we can also see it down here on the bottom. This is really handy for when we are implementing our twig templates. I can also see how many users status the route, the log, where there's a deprecation. Oh, here we have one. 
I'm going to cover this in another video, some of the things in Twig and in Craft that have been deprecated in Craft 3 and will be taken out in Craft 4. But here's one. The first function used to query for elements is now deprecated. This is one we used a lot, especially in my courses. But we're now supposed to use the one function instead. We used to use the first function to get, like in assets, to get the first of uh, the assets if we only had one, instead of having to iterate over the collection. Well, now we use one to get that. So I see a deprecation error here, and I know to go in and fix that. And we can get time and memory in our database queries and all that stuff, and then also dig in here for more information. Really handy. I can keep it down here collapsed, so I can keep an eye on things and have it there. That way, whenever I'm logged in with my admin user, I can see that. So this is the Ye debug tool in Craft 3 Beta. I encourage you to check it out. If you want to learn more about Craft 3, go to majingo.com slash craft. I've been creating all sorts of new lessons on how to install Craft 3 Beta, how to install Composer, how to upgrade a Craft 2 site to Craft 3, all sorts of stuff coming in the future as well. Thanks for watching and good luck with Craft 3.